Hello everyone! Today we're doing a dragonfly and butterfly inspired t-shirt weaving pattern. So grab your scissors! First, put your shirt on inside out and mark where you want the very bottom of the pattern to be. I chose my waist because I plan on tucking my shirt in. Then mark the lowest you want the neckline to be and where you want the top of the dragonfly pattern to go. Lay your shirt down flat, still inside out, and draw a line across your shirt where you marked the bottom of the pattern. Then use this as a guide to trim the bottom of the shirt. I left mine a little bit longer so that I can tuck it in. Now from your extra fabric, cut a small strip of fabric to use for later. Grab a ruler and draw an upside down triangle from the collar down to the neckline mark we made. Then I made marks one centimeter apart down the center of the triangle, but I had a hard time cutting them that thin, so I suggest a half inch apart instead. Use these marks to draw horizontal lines across the triangle. Now for the dragonfly. Make the top mark into a line about half an inch wide, then make about seven marks evenly spaced below it for a guide. Draw the second and third horizontal lines four inches wide, centered under the first then draw the rest of the lines two inches wide, also centered. Put something like cardboard inside your shirt to make cutting easier, then start cutting all of the horizontal lines starting with the neckline triangle. Cut a very small hole at the point of the triangle, then stretch the strips of fabric. Cut the dragonfly lines ending with a very small hole centered at the bottom. Then stretch the fabric. Turn your shirt back inside in and put the cardboard back inside. Now we're going to weave starting with the triangle with an upside down ladder weave. Just pretend I didn't already cut the top strip. So grab the bottom strip and pull it under and up through the bottom hole, creating a loop. Grab the next strip and pull that strip under and up through the loop. Then do the same with the next strip. Continue this all the way up to the collar, then cut the top loop and tie it back together around the collar inside the shirt. And trim the ends. If you're having trouble with the weaving in this tutorial, watch my guide to t-shirt weaving video for more detailed instructions. Now to weave the dragonfly, we're going to start at the top and weave down with a twisted weave. Grab the second strip down, the two inch one, and pull it up behind the first, then behind and up through the top hole, creating a loop. Twist the loop, then grab the first strip, the four inch one, and pull it through the loop and twist it. Then grab the third strip, pull it up through the loop and twist it. Then the fourth and so on until you get to the bottom. Cut the bottom loop and tie it back together through the bottom hole inside the shirt. Trim the ends and adjust your weave. Now for the back we're going to draw a big V shape. Turn your shirt back inside out and put the cardboard back in. Use your marks on the front to mark where you want the bottom of the pattern to be then draw a vertical line down the center of the shirt. Draw two dots under the collar an equal distance from the center line. Then make another dot on the center line a little bit more than halfway down where the pattern will go. Draw two lines connecting the top dots to the center dot, making a V. Then measure from one of the top dots to about the sleeve on the same side and use that same measurement to make a mark the same distance away from the bottom center dot. Use these marks to draw parallel lines to the V on either side. 
these lines should start slightly lower than the top of the V and end slightly lower than the bottom of the V. They should also be the same on both sides. Now connect the bottom of the two lines you just drew in the center of the bottom of the pattern, making one big V shape. Now to draw all the lines down the V. Draw your first line at the top of one side of the V. It should be slightly diagonal. Measure down from that line and make marks half an inch apart to the bottom of the arm of the V. Repeat on the other side. Use these marks to draw slightly diagonal parallel lines down both sides of the V. Then at the bottom, start drawing straight horizontal lines half an inch apart to the bottom of the V. Draw a small horizontal line in the center of the space between the top and bottom lines. Carefully cut along all of the slightly diagonal and horizontal lines inside the V-shape. And I almost forgot, but cut a slightly smaller slit centered at the top of each arm of the V. End the bottom of the V with a tiny hole and stretch all of the strips of fabric. Now turn your shirt back inside in and put the cardboard back in. It's time to weave. Grab one of the top strips and pull it down. Grab the second strip and pull it up over the first, then pull the third up over the second and continue this all the way down to the bottom. Then cut the bottom strip and tie it back together through the bottom hole inside the shirt. Adjust your weave and then repeat on the other side of the V. Grab your spare strip of fabric from before and cut it into six pieces. Turn your shirt back inside out and put the cardboard back in. We're going to make butterflies by tying the top four strips of fabric together in the center. Then trim the ends of the knot. Repeat with the next four strips. Then again until you reach the bottom of the arm of the V. Repeat on the other side. Now keeping the shirt inside out, lay your sleeves down perfectly flat on top of each other with the seams lying together at the bottom. Starting near the shoulder at the edge of the top of the sleeve, draw a small line inwards about a quarter inch long. Then from that line, measure and make marks half an inch apart all the way down the sleeve. We're going to use these marks to draw more lines from the top of the sleeve. We're going to do the dragonfly pattern again. So after your top quarter inch line, draw the next two lines two inches long, then draw the next five lines one inch long. Skip two marks and then start the pattern again with the quarter inch line. I ended up doing three dragonflies down the sleeve. Now cutting through both sleeves, carefully cut along all of your lines. Then cut tiny holes under each dragonfly. Turn your shirt back inside in and stretch all of the strips of fabric. To weave the sleeves, I ended up putting them on my legs to make it easier. And we're weaving from the top exactly the same way as we did on the front of the shirt. Grab the second strip down and pull it up behind the first, then behind and up through the top hole, creating a loop. Twist the loop, then grab the first strip and pull it up through the loop and twist it. Then grab the third strip, pull it up through the loop and twist it. Then the fourth, and so on until you get to the bottom. Cut the bottom loop and tie it back together through the bottom hole, inside the shirt. Trim the ends and adjust your weave. Repeat with the other dragonflies, then repeat on the other sleeve.
And that's everything. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, or if you have any questions, be sure to let me know. And if you're looking for more content, check out my other social media, all at Anorthodol. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking here, or watch another video right over here. Thanks for watching.